counter those demons that have plagued them today, have a convincing win for once in their second week here. I think this says a lot about EDG's mentality. They're putting all the eggs in the death basket right now. <laughs> yep. uh, I mean, not enough on either side. That was kind of a crazy engagement. Now H2K, they want to go for the big four-man dive here. Amazing J solo. Teleport comes in. No, it's canceled. And Amazing J could still oh, be in man. trouble. Are they going to get first blood? Amazing J, they get him. First blood goes to Kasing, and they will get out. Fair for the auto omni play they're trying to push in amazing j but they let him catch the minion wave and it's a slight misstep here from h2k i have wow. to say if right. you're gonna make this play it with, has to be with Annie though. and at least you're just yep meanwhile you have to with the group yeah they do go for the dragon they get it that's gonna be their first of the game and so that's a, a bit of a relief for h2k that they were able to secure that format shockwave yeah here we go. Uh, Tomcat trying to come in from behind here. Ryu's got the flash. Just slow. Not bad. Gets caught by those flame choppers. Comes in. Timbers does work. Ryu throws a shockwave, but it's too late. Deft with the kill there. Kasing in a lot of... Throws out the cocoon. Doesn't connect. Garnet. Okay. This needs dude, get a pack on pick. Oh, boy. Here comes the Tom Kench. Comes in. Is he close enough? Amazing. Jay caught up a little bit. They're going to jump onto Yarnin right away here. Yarnin flashes away. Doesn't get CC'd. Going to pull in his Annie. His support still gets taken out. Amazing. Jay with the kill there. Eric Kassing in a lot of trouble as he gets back to the Baron, but the Baron's not going to help you, man. You got a flash, but you don't have it. No flash for you. You're dead. And there's a bot lane out of commission for H2K. Baron helping out a little bit. To give them the right start to that team fight. I think H2K just had to pull the trigger earlier. You'll notice that Odawame did not use teleport right there, and they allowed them there. H2K trying to find a fight here, and they're going to find Clear Love. Not pulling the trigger on that one, though. They're going to go for Mako. Oh, Mako geez. pretty tanky backs off. There's the shield. He's going to be just fine. Flame Chompers drop down. Yarnin goes in, gets some damage onto Def. Kasing trying to help out. They miss the sun. And now Clear Love back in with the re-engage. So much damage coming from EDG. Def is getting excited, and all the fans of EDG are too. As Lulex and Ryu runs away, here comes the Kench. And he's going to get the slow on nice the Ryu. Shot. Can they catch him? Trying to get there a little bit too low, Hal. One more hit, though. Could do it. Two more hits. Can he eat him? They're not going to need you. Ryu going to go down. Another kill for Def. That is four for zero. A near flawless team fight for EDG. That may be the clinching fight that moves EDG into the quarterfinals. They've been waiting for that setup for so long. And honestly, this game has been heavily uh -oh. about the catch. They didn't even need Amazing Jay's Malphite ultimate to pull that one off. Yeah. Unless it came back off cooldown during the chase, I'm pretty sure it didn't. No, uh -oh. I don't think it did, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Lulex down anyway. They've got a couple people still over at that Baron, so we have 31-minute Baron take for EDG. And it's been it's been a bit of a sloppy game. On to death. The rockets are going to come through. Yeah. The Gragas barrel is going to come through, and... There's not a lot of hope right there. Oh, H2K uh, wanted to make the pick, didn't make the pick, and then they lost the five. They're on a ward. Clear Love going in, another explosive cast. Kasing destroyed immediately. Clear Love held up a bit, big shockwave, but no follow up. So EDG is going to be just fine. Ryu on the run again, going to try to teleport out. Not going to make it. Mako with a bloodthirsty kill. With this one. Oh, Baron letting the push down these turrets so easily. This is going to be a simple inhibitor, and this could be the game. EDG trying to secure their second place spot. They can do it with a win right here. Yarn is still finishing off a turret, so they know they have some time before they do. We can get back. And they're going to do some damage to these Nexus turrets. One goes down. H2K needs one last fight. Amazing Jay goes in under Ryu. Ryu gets evaporated. Lulex running for his life. And Odo on the can't participate. it. There it goes. And in the end, H2K says, do you have a win? And EDG says, go fish. That is it. <laughs> EDG takes second place. Wow. Well, EDG surprising. Not their best day of League of Legends. We, we do expect more out of these guys, yeah. but they clutched it. They found a way to win. They play around Deft in this last game, and Deft delivers. Ultimately, yeah. EDG is not punished, and they now have a week to prepare for the quarterfinals because this group is set. SKT number one, EDG number two. They would have liked to finish higher, but with the way they were playing today, probably a little bit of relief that they're still advancing to the quarterfinals. You know, it is. It was a pretty, it was a pretty sloppy group stage in general for EDG and for a team that people are expecting to really be 
a team that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SK Telecom, they're going to need to bring a very, very different game to the quarterfinals. Yeah, specifically, their early lane swapping game is by far their biggest issue. Because we could see once EDG kept the gold fairly paralleled in the mid game, they executed amazingly. Like they just got this lead about five minutes ago, and then they ended the game. We knew their team composition was built for the team fighting phase, and the instant Def got ahead, he could just kill anyone because there's no true front line on H2K. And that is exactly why the game ended so quickly once they got the edge. Yep. And for H2K, their journey to Worlds this year is over. And for any organization. For H2K especially, it's been a great ride. I mean, they did really well. 